Hi, I'm Darren Mohabir with Spiegel Technologies. This video is going to show you how to set up your NVR once your cameras are physically connected to the recorder. Now that we have unboxed our zip kit, we've plugged in our cameras into the recorder and we are ready to go. First we will select our language and we'll select close. Now for cybersecurity, you will, will be required to create a password. For this example, I will use a simple password of 1234, and then I will confirm it by re-entering it again. Now we do not encourage you to use 1234 or 1111. We do encourage you to create a complex password for your own safety and security. Now I will select OK. Now the system will initialize, and it will take me to my Easy Wizard. Easy Setup will help you set up your system. Please select one of the options below. We will first start by selecting Easy Network for Network Setup. Now I will select Next. Now what Easy Network is going to do is it's going to communicate with the router and it's going to acquire an IP address. It's going to submit a request for UPnP for Universal Plug and Play which is port forwarding. And then it will come back and it will give us a uh, statistic. Now in this case, we've got a check mark on everything except for UPnP port forwarding. So what this means is Easy Network acquired an IP address, a gateway address, and a subnet mask. It acquired a DNS server address. It verified it can get out to the internet. But it verified that the router does not support universal plug and play. This means I will need to manually forward those ports in the router. Now I'll select Next. Now DNVR has created a DDNS name for me. This DDNS name will start with the model of the recorder and it will end with the last few characters of the MAC address. You will need to write this down. This is the address that you'll be using to communicate with the network recorder from your smartphone, your computer, or your tablet. Once you've written this down, you'll select Finish. Now we will give it a second for the cameras to auto populate. DDNS notified status success. So our DDNS name has been registered successfully. So I will select OK. And our cameras have automatically populated. So this leaves us with one last thing to do. Since we have to forward these ports manually, we need to set the static or the IP address to static. So we're going to right click with our mouse. We're going to go to setup. We're going to enter our password. One, two, three, four enter and OK. Now we're going to go to network. Now we're going to change the network type from DHCP to static and select apply and yes to save setup. And you're complete. You have set up the easy setup, you have set up your network for a static IP address and you are now ready to open up the ports in the router. And there you have it, you've set up your zip kit. For more information on zip kits and setup, please visit us at www.speakotech.com.